lived was evacuating, secretly evacuating his own families. So they say the, the connection between you know, illnesses like hers and the accident can't be substantiated. And you know, that's what they say. And right now, currently in Japan, a lawsuit is being fought by six young people who were minors at the, at the time of the accident and have been diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Now, thyroid cancer among children is extremely rare. But ever since the accident, uh, 2011, more than 300 cases uh, in, in Fukushima children have been identified. So, you know, it's really bogus when they are telling you there's no correlation between this and the accident, uh, in, in, you know, nuclear accident in Fukushima. So why am I telling you all this? Because we have to pay attention to what the government and the industry are not telling you. So that's why. Um, so let me pull up my speech because I'm losing my um, thought. But So, you know, when TEPCO and the Japanese government tell you Dumping the water from the Fukushima nuclear plant is completely safe. Should we believe them? No. No, no, I don't think so. Um, so, you know, what not, part of what they are not telling you, first of all, the filtering system that they have at the plant uh, cannot remove all the radioactive particles. So tritium is one of the nuclear uh, radioactive substances that they can't filter out. Now, the industry people love to tell you tritium is safe. Well, what they are not telling you is tritium is safe as long as it stays out of your body. Once it's consumed, what's, once it's in your body, it bonds with organic materials in your body and stays there for a long time and causes issues like cell death and cell mutation. So, the Fukushima radiation has been detected on the west coast ever since 2015 after the accident. So naturally, you know, people like us on the west coast are very much concerned about the dumping from Fukushima. But I'm here because dumping of wastewater from nuclear power plants is not only Fukushima issue. It's not only the west coast issue. It is an issue for everyone. So. Holtec, thank you. Holtec is a company who's been making a killing of the decommissioning business. They are at the heart of the issue at San Onofre in California, which is a decommissioned power plant uh, 70 miles from LA. And in, in, in San Onofre, they are burying uh, nuclear waste on the beach within 100 feet of the shoreline in a very thin canister that doesn't pass the European standard. And they're also dumping the wastewater from the plant for years now. And now, you know, uh, they, are, they are trying to do the same thing at multiple locations in the United States. And they're trying to do it here in the Hudson River. Are New Yorkers okay with this? No! No, I think not. I think not. If we allow this to happen in Fukushima, they can tell you, oh, they are doing it in Fukushima, we can do it here too. If we allow it in the Hudson River, they say, we are doing it in New York City, well, we can do it anywhere else too. So we, we should not allow this to happen. So in 2023, in the United States of America, the corporate profit is prioritized over people's life and health. And that's why we are here protesting and raising our voices and spreading awareness. And I believe we can win if we organize. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank you. So thank you so much for showing up here today. Thank you so much for stopping to listen. And let us make our voices heard. Let them hear us. Don't nuke the Hudson River. Don't nuke the Hudson River. Don't nuke the Pacific Ocean! Don't nuke the Pacific Ocean!